Hello and welcome everyone. We are going to learn about WebDriver IO using JavaScript or TypeScript and we'll be using Jasmine and Mocha as framework. So before that we need to do some basic installation of Node.js and we need to have an editor. So we'll be using VS Code. So we go to Node.js official site. So whatever version you find uh, as the latest version uh, at the time when you're watching this video, just go to that version and download it. And after you download, you just need to install it by following the basic steps of installation and let it install. So once it is installed, we can check Node.js is installed on our system or not. So you can use command prompt or you can use any other, uh, uh, you know, terminal. I'm using git bash as terminal. So when I use node and then minus V, it gives me version 14.15.1, which is the version which I have downloaded. And similarly, I can check uh, npm version as well. So npm minus v, it will give me the version of node package manager. So I need node uh, basically because uh, the framework that I'm going to use is a node node based framework. And uh, uh, the project that I'm going to create would be a node project basically. And uh, npm I would be requiring because I need a package manager which will help me in installing and resolving all the dependencies. Like if you have already gone through my tutorials on robot framework and you are aware of uh, the installation steps, then you might have seen that we have used pip or easy install as package managers. So that was the package manager for Python. But here we have npm as the package manager. Okay. So once you are done with the installation of Node.js, you then need to download Visual Code, uh, Visual Studio Code. You can go to official website, download it and install it in this way okay again very basic steps and once you download and install it will appear to you like this okay so meanwhile uh, since i already have a project so you can see some files here otherwise you will see a blank uh, page here you won't see any kind of file structure on the left side here okay then there is one more thing that we have terminal hook to this editor so you go to terminal and new terminal and you will see a terminal inside visual studio code itself and you need not uh, use any other external terminal if you want to use this okay then uh, next thing is we can change the color theme of this editor so you can choose any of the themes whichever you like according to your preference i generally prefer this light theme but that is your choice whatever theme you want to use you can use so i'll see you in the next tutorial and we'll see how to set up a basic project and then we'll start writing automation test cases.